So, uh, Landhart, <coughs> Philip Rochiger and I talked to Landhart after his concert. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he, said, he said he doesn't, he didn't think this was a that I've heard that as well. And, and Philip, yeah. you know how Philip is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, but you know, Bach, Bach did borrow sometimes from other people. You know, right. just like Tarragon and Barry was, you know, they, uh, he was a busy yeah. man. Yeah. A lot of so, kids, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a kind of illogic, illogical flow in it. Mm -hmm. then you, in Bach, you just tend to have much more logic, but still it's fantastic. And he said, well, who, who do you think it was? I'm not sure one of his kids, I don't know who, but... Well, probably, no, I think probably one of his contemporaries, like Buxtehude and all <laughs> the guys that are, that are around, you know, there's a, not well, we're one of those kids writing the style of Bach. Oh, okay, you know, that, yeah. That, you know, yeah. Could be. Not there was later writing, but... Yeah, because really after Bach, there was a major change in the style, really. Right. Anyway, he, like, he was like, like, insisted that he was pretty strong, yeah. that he didn't think this was Bach, yeah. You know. Less as less human as Bach, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
first advice is going to be that the sound is too husky. You make good sound, but it's it's a, it's a little bit dark for this, you know, especially because this one is in the, in the middle range and low down, you know. Mm -hmm. So when, when you have all that stuff going, you know, it's too dark. You need to, um, you need to use that kind of sound a little bit. So don't go down to the bridge. Think of yourself as staying here and just playing straight. Right. Even if, you know, if you're playing anything from Fernando Sor, Sor onwards, your normal sound is going to be fine. Okay. And, but in this kind of style, it's better if you have a more crisp note, you know? So, more rather than, rather than that kind of sound, you know, just... So there's, there's a little more precision in the, in, the, in the actual beginning of the note. Have a go. So it's a, it's a thought for the future, All right. to make the bottom end clear. Mm -hmm.
gets a little bit louder and then soft. But imagine it gets a bit faster and then slows down. Okay, you try. From do <laughs> so quiet that the audience is going to lose you. Um. Before the beat, is that the purpose? Uh, you're not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Let you play it your way once. <clears throat> but just you know where it goes. Yeah. It's just that the the you're playing it so early that the bass. 
sound like the dum is too soon. Uh, you, you, it should be. surprise there and normally for it to be a surprise you want to do something with the rhythm just a little bit and so you have this uh So you could add that on there. 
You remember, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, so it's just going to be A, I, M, P, right? And so you just get E, D, E, D. Are we going to the next bit? Yeah. Lots of, lots of ways to, to 
do, do it. But whatever you do, make the changes quite abrupt. You know, so more like this. Right, so, so it's obvious. Mm -hmm. That's what you try. With the, you know, sometimes having a little movement forces you to change. Okay. Maybe later you won't need it, but just now you need it. Have a go. Before we finish, I want to do the very ending with you. Yeah. Go from, go from, you know, because. Yeah. Oh, you want to record yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, just before that. Here's uh, the bit where the little cadenza type. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Instead of just going, go, um, um, here, if you did just did that, um, here, you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's now up to you to do the work. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know, strangely enough, what you just did there by, by doing the nodding and why it made a big difference. So maybe you want to think about more movement. You know, when I asked you to tap your foot, for example, it was not easy for you to do it. Like, you, know, you know, so if your body is not being able to move to the music, how is their body going to be able to move? You know, if you, what, you, what you want to do is to get them somehow flowing with the music, whether it's a beat or whether it's a flow. So if you can do it, then I think you'll be better at transmitting it to other people. Yeah. You know, and if, if you can't do it, or something you can't, but it is difficult for you, it's not so easy to transmit, right? And so if, if you play like a rhythmic piece, tap your foot. And then don't tap your foot in your concert, because it's supposed to be you're not supposed to do it. At least tap your toe inside your foot. <laughs> you know, when you're playing these... And it, it makes you have better rhythm. All right. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Who's coming out? I had the list somewhere. They have intermission, but maybe...